you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rin as in when and today I have for you the sandstone shanty finally I know it's been a while hi how are you I hope you're doing well where have I been I have been on twitch and even before then I was taking a big honking break from social media and from content creation because I needed to. I needed to take care of myself mentally. That always sounds so weird to say, but you know what? It's really important to take care of yourself when you need to and to step back when you need to and if you can because we only got one life to live, y'all, and we better have a good frame of mind and a healthy frame of mind about ourselves and life. So, is a really good three months to step away and um, reflect on what the heck it is I am doing, what the heck it is, you know, my goals are in life, um, to reevaluate where my priorities are, and to reevaluate what my goals are for being a content creator on the internet. Um, I think something that had happened, uh, for those who don't know, I also stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Rin is in Win. And that's primarily where I do content creation. I love it over there. Um, so feel free to come join if you'd like. Uh, but something that is really hard not to do, and I think it's the same here on YouTube, it's hard not to equate your value as a person to the numbers of your, of your stream and of your YouTube channel. So essentially I was getting really, really down about my view counts on Twitch, about my sub counts, my follower counts, about, uh, how much interaction there was, how little interaction there was. I was getting really, you know, I was, I was comparing myself too much to other streamers. I, was even looking at YouTube and just thinking, why do I even do this? And it took me a while to remember why I even started making Sims videos, why I even started streaming, why I even entered into this world of content creation, which is awesome. And I remembered that the core to why I'm on these platforms is to interact with you guys and to create a community that is kind, humorous, and strong. And once I realized that I don't have to focus on the numbers or at the very least, I don't have to make that my tunnel vision. I don't have to make the views, the subs, the followers, all of that my tunnel vision focus. I started focusing more on the community, just interaction, just checking in with people, making sure that people always felt welcome wherever they joined me on the internet. And I found that that has really, really helped my mentality with YouTube and with Twitch and with staying healthy with my goals and what I'm creating and why I'm creating. So that was a bit of a ramble, but I felt it was really important to kind of share why I've been gone and explain how that time away has been extremely helpful. So, um, what does that mean though for this space? I don't know. YouTube is still such a mystery to me <laughs> in terms of original content. I know I don't have to recreate the wheel here, um, but I haven't found that sweet spot again where I feel like I am creating things that I enjoy and that I want to share with you guys. I haven't been inspired. I haven't felt that itch to really dig deep into what I want to do on YouTube. But I decided, though, that I wanted to try <laughs> and figure out what brings me back here. And 
Something that I did a long time ago, some of you may remember, and if you do remember, you're an OG. Hello, OG peeps. <laughs> um, but something that I, I used to do was starter week, starter, oh my gosh, starter home weeks. And uh, every three months or so, I would do a full week of uploads of just starter homes that only use base game items. So I actually really like that because I tend to get a little too wrapped up in building. Uh, if you watch my streams, you know, it can take me decades to finish a build. But if I have a starter home with certain parameters, like using just base game items, then I'm usually, I'm usually far more focused and can get the job done. So I decided to revisit that whole idea and that's what we have today. So we have the sandstone shanty and this is a tiny little starter home that uses only base game items and there is no CC. And uh, it's just shy of the 20,000 simoleon mark. I was at the end, you won't see this at the end, but I, I turned off the recording and I tried so hard to figure out how to get it within the starter home price limit. And uh, oh man, I was deleting things, adding things, deleting things. I mean, it was just like, I was just fine you know, combing through this build with a fine tooth comb, trying to figure out what I could keep and what I could get away or get rid of. Um, and eventually it came together. So this place is really cute. I was just really feeling like building something that felt sort of 70s, but with this kind of grandmotherly appeal. So it's... <laughs> Is that even a thing? It's definitely not a 70s house, but I feel like the outside kind of shanty shack appeal um, with the wood paneling is definitely 70s vibes, but the inside is just very much like cozy. It is a cozy little shanty and um, it came together really nicely. I was really surprised, you know, the, the Sims, the gurus, uh, they've given us so many great base game items that they've just, you know, um, every now and then have added to the game. And oh my gosh, it just helps so much with being creative again with, again, just using base game items. So I was really excited. Like these doors, like the, the doors on the interior that are blue with like the, the, the glass panes on top, those are freaking, oh no, I hit my mic. Oh no. <sighs> Well, mistakes were made. Anywho, um, but those are base game now, and I'm just like, what? That's crazy. They're so pretty, and they're only, I think, 50 simoleons, so they're actually cost-effective. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for giving me a cost-effective door that looks beautiful. Thank you. But um, I went on a complete tangent there, but anyway, this place is a one-bedroom, one-bath apartment uh, home and let's see the the bathroom has oh my gosh just saw the dinosaur pop up um but the bathroom has two doors so you can enter through it through the uh, single bedroom or you can enter into it through the kitchen the kitchen is a very teeny tiny galley kitchen uh the living room is modest but it has a lot of charm and you have a full four seat dining area, which is awesome. That's sometimes really hard to fit a four seat dining area into these builds, at least the starter builds. So I was happy to get that. Um, also something I just wanted to play with was just the layout. I wanted to do something really different. Um, I've never done a layout like this before for a starter home or really for any home. And I kind of want to do like a bigger version of this home using any packs and you know unlimited simoleons because I just really like the vibe of this place and I feel like if I had all of the items and all of the packs at my fingertips this place could just look crazy good so maybe down the road I'll do like you know the big brother of, of this house um which could work really well and uh, could be a lot of fun um yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you about this or about where I've been and whatnot. Um, I really want to challenge myself again in this space. So 
Uh, but I think I will continue to do the starter homes. I really do like doing them and I like the challenge that they present to, to me. Um, I'm going to try my best to get better at video editing to figure out what I can add. And so you'll slowly see, you know, small changes as we go along. And I just want to try and keep improving while having content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being patient. I want to tell you that. Thank you very much for being patient with me. And I appreciate you all hanging in there with me. There's over a hundred subs now, just over a hundred subs now on the YouTube channel. So I appreciate all of you being here. And I just thank you for sticking around while I've been gone. I want to revive this channel. I know it's gone through many revivals, but I do want to bring you good content here that is mindful and fun. So just keep an eye out. I will be trying different things as ideas pop into my head, and I'm really excited to experiment in the YouTube space again. Oh, I do have to say, uh, there's a new cheat in The Sims, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's a new build by cheat. So if you do testing cheats on and then do bb.show hidden objects, but then also do bb.show live edit objects, you get all of these items, just like show hidden ob objects, right? You get all of these items that are available in the base game, but they're free. So they don't cost simoleons. And so I used a lot of them for decorating around the house and especially the exterior, like the landscaping and all of that. That is all like free plants, <laughs> free plants. And uh, oh, dude, it came in handy so much. So um, I highly recommend using that cheat. Again, uh, testing cheats on. Make sure that's on. Make sure you do bb.show hidden objects first and then do bb dot show live edit objects so i'm sure many of you know that already but i thought i'd just pass that along because it's a new thing for me and i'm loving it um let's see yeah again i'm on twitch monday through thursday every week and uh i play a lot of sims there too you guys were building over there and also playing apex legends so if you guys like apex legends as well as the sims come on over we have a really fun time over there and we have a lot of fun things planned our community is awesome and i'm sure each and every one of you would fit in beautifully so if you haven't given twitch a try yet i highly recommend it and uh in the meantime though i do thank you for being here so co please comment in down below and just let me know how you've been and keep me posted about y'all uh i'd love to hear about what you guys are doing and uh how you're doing what you're up to all that good stuff so don't be a, don't be shy let let me know um that's one thing about youtube that is a bit tricky is making sure i keep up with you guys all the time i love because i love making sh you know i love i love connecting with you guys so uh the comments on youtube are the best way to do that um and if you want a real you know real time combo come over to twitch um yeah here we are just finishing up all the small details i as you can see i left the uh the lot information up so i could see how much this lot was running me and to make sure that I kept it in the starter home budget. So eventually we get there and I have to say, I have to say, this is a really cute build. I really enjoyed making it and I hope that you guys like it. It is available on the gallery. So by all means, go check it out if you feel inclined. Um, oh no, did I only do a two seater? Oh no, I lied. I thought we had a four seat dining. I lied, it's only two seat. Well, there you go. The starter home wins again, guys. Um, I'm going to leave you guys here. We are almost to the picture slideshow. And then as per usual, I will catch you guys after the photos. Please enjoy.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. You guys, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and the Sims 4 Gallery, all Rin is in Win. And as I said many a time before, the internet is a very busy place, so I'm honored you chose to spend some time with me here today. You guys, I look forward to more adventures with you very soon. Stay tuned for more fun things, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.